Now let's go with the mechanics of uh, drawing the body plot. Uh, consider the transfer function g of s. Here we have a zero at origin, a real zero at a, and a complex pole. So the idea is if you can draw the body plot of these individual factors, you should be able to get the body plot of the full transfer function. So we can rewrite this uh, transfer function like so. What I have essentially done is brought out this a, brought out the omega n squared and combined it with this uh, constant k to get a new constant. And these factors end up looking like this. Let's set s equal to j omega that will give us this expression that simplifies to this. All I've done here is multiply this j omega the whole squared out that will give me minus omega squared that I combine with 1. Now this is the real part of this number. This denominator becomes a complex number. This is the complex part. This is the real part. Similarly here this is the real part and this is the complex part. This number only has a complex part. Now this constant here is called the body gain. The magnitude of this transfer function now is given by magnitude of the entire thing. Now this ends up being this. So magnitude of a bunch of numbers is multiplied and divided here is uh, magnitude of the individual complex numbers uh, multiplied and divided. Now let's look at let's look at the magnitude in decibels. So to the magnitude in decibels, you take 20 log to the base 10 on both sides. And you know, uh, with the logarithms, numbers that are multiplied become additions. Numbers that are divided become subtractions. So you end up getting the magnitude of the transfer functions in decibels is nothing but the sum of the magnitudes of various factors in decibels. So essentially what this means is we can draw the individual factors, uh, magnitude of the individual factors in decibels and simply add them up together to get the magnitude of the transfer function, whole transfer function in decibels. Now this magnitude of this j omega here ends up here, the constant ends up here, the body gain ends up here, uh, the 0 at a ends up here and the complex pole ends up here. So that's what I said. Magnitude of the transfer function decibels is the sum of the magnitudes of individual components in decibels. Uh, similarly, you can take the phase and you have the same sort of relationships with phase. The total phase of the transfer function is the sum of the phase of individual components. Uh, these are the individual components. Uh, phase of a real number is zero, positive real number is zero. Phase of a purely complex number is 90 degrees. So the phase, like I said before, the phase of the transfer function in degrees is the sum of phases of individual components in degrees. Now let's look at uh, these two factors, okay. poles or zeros at the origin. We replace s equal to j omega, then this transfer function becomes j omega. If you take the magnitude in decibels, you get 20 log to the base 10 of omega. If when omega tends to 0, when omega is really small, so this goes to 0, and uh, log 10, log to the base 10 of 0 is minus infinity. So when you tend to 0, the magnitude of uh, 0 at the origin ends up being minus infinity decibels. When omega equal to 1, you get 0 decibels. And omega equal to infinity, you get plus infinity decibels. The case with the pole at the origin is almost the same. You have your transfer function, 1 divided by j omega. You take the magnitude of the transfer function decibels, you get this expression here. When omega tends to 0, the magnitude of the transfer function in decibel tends to infinity. When omega tends to 0, this expression here tends to infinity. 
log of infinity is infinity when omega tends to 1 this expression here tends to 1 log of 1 is 0 therefore at omega equal to 1 the magnitude of the transfer function tends to 0 decibels and omega tends to infinity the magnitude of the transfer function decibels tends to minus infinity if you look at the angles here the angle of a zero at the origin is given by angle of j omega which is tan inverse of omega divided by zero because the real part is zero that is tan inverse of infinity which is 90 on the other hand the angle of a pole at the origin is minus 90. Here I have actual body plots of the zero at origin and the pole at origin uh, if you notice uh, the zero at origin does that the magnitude plot this is the zero decibel line the angle for the zero at origin is always 90 this is the zero degree phase line and the pole at origin is essentially uh, the mirror image of uh, the zero at origin about the zero decibel line for magnitude and about the zero degree line for phase the question is uh, what is the magnitude at any general frequency omega for the zero at the origin this magnitude is given by 20 log to the base 10 omega and for the pole at the origin the magnitude at any frequency omega in decibels is given by minus 20 to the base log to the base 10 of omega